All right, guys, welcome back to another one. Um, it's uh, the first weekend of May, and got a, a little bit of time here right after work on a Friday to uh, get out here and hit the stream for a couple hours before dark. Um, just fishing my, uh, my local small stream here, just fishing a wild section. And this is probably one of my favorite stretches of this creek here. Um, for the wild wild trout here um, and you may come across a couple holes that may have some stalkers uh, that wash down or holdovers or whatever but mainly it's going to be um, you know some wild rainbows um, so not exactly sure what I'm going to start off with we did get like an afternoon thunderstorm uh, today so um, but first glance at the water it doesn't look that much higher um maybe just a little bit off color uh the longer i'm here so anyway we're gonna hop down here and uh, get started y'all stay tuned There we go. Easy now, easy. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good fish. Ah, oh, nice. What are you? All right, you look kind of like a holdover. Oh. Yeah, you might be a holdover. All right, well, we're not skunked. That's a good deal. I've already made a couple swaps on my nymph. Um, on my dropper here, I was using like a little thread Frenchie. Um, now I'm using just like a sexy waltz worm. So yeah, let's see if uh, we can work this run some more and see if we'll find another fish in here. There we go. Nice. First wild bow of the day. I was literally pulling the fly out. I was about to make a change because there should have been a fish here in this, this run. So it gives me a little bit more confidence back in the, the sexy waltz here, but I don't know, just still... I might should switch to something else because I mean that took several several casts and drifts through there before I picked up that fish. So I maybe make a couple more um, casts into these two runs here, um, and then I may make a quick fly change and do it again, and then quickly move on. Damn it! Oh, wow. There it is. Nice. 
That's a good wild rainbow right there. I don't know if it was the same fish or not, but I did have a uh, have a fish come up and and hit the caddis. And uh, he came off like damn near immediately. Um, and then the next cast in picked that fish up right there. So make a couple more drifts to this run and then uh, move on. Oh no, he missed the caddis, got hooked on the dropper. Damn, that was a solid fish. He spooked too now, damn it. And he probably blew the hole. Now historically this has been a pretty good hole for me. Because there's this deep undercut run right here. Between these uh, big boulders here. There's a deep undercut run right through there. You got the, uh, I mean you just got this entire thing can hold fish. Um, I've caught fish here in the back of this uh this undercut here and up there near the head of the the run there so we're gonna start back here and uh, see if we can pick anything up there he is Ooh. got a little fight in him oh, that's a beautiful rainbow it's gorgeous. That was a beautiful rainbow. Uh, let's see if we can pick up another one here in this pool. So that one came on the uh, the blowtorch um, on a jig style nymph here. Um, I'll drop a, uh, a link to my video like right up here or something. Um, so that way you guys can watch how to tie this. It's a really productive pattern for me here. There we go. I ate the caddis, baby. Let's go. On the dry. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's fucking go, baby. You know, I love catching fish and I love nymphing. But there is nothing, nothing better than catching a trout on a dry fly. There's just not. Just not. That was awesome. Let's see if we can catch another one. Oh, that was a good fish. That was a real good fish. Dang. And I hooked him too. He ain't gonna eat again. All right, be a stick.
There's a fish. Easy big fella. Easy big fella. There we go. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Pretty. So the uh, blowtorch again. I didn't even see the indicator go down. <laughs> or my uh, my caddis here, I just couldn't see it. The way the sun is, there's like hardly any light. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see see this. It's so dark in here. And I've still got like another 45 minutes before uh, sunset. Okay, maybe just 30 minutes. But still. Oh, there we go. Another dry fly. Let's go, baby. Oh, man. I'm about to just cut this dropper off. Honestly, I can cover a lot of ground a lot more quicker. A lot faster. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today. Uh, just had to do those uh, two hours or so after work to fish. Caught quite a few fish um, and uh, kind of ran out of time, ran out of daylight. Um, but, yeah, super uh, grateful to be out here. Please be sure to uh, like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and uh, check out some of my other videos. If you haven't, stick around on the channel. But I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one.